Unit 3. 읽기 지도. 1. 읽기 실력. First of all, read the whole text quickly and silently. You don't have to read word by word at this stage. As you read along, try to notice what the text is about. I know. It's about the dangers of internet games. Don't say it yet. Let's wait till the others finish skimming the text. 읽기 실력 향상 방법 Read a lot. Reading steadily is important. Make it a rule to set a time and read regularly. Try to read at least one book a week. It is important to enjoy reading books. Don't analyze the text. Do not read books as if you were analyzing it. Concentrate on the content, not on the grammar. Don't translate word by word. Skip the words you don't know. Try to guess what it means by looking at the context. Don't look up in the dictionary whenever you come across a difficult word. Look up in the dictionary only if it appears more than three times. Please prepare a reading log. Make notes in your reading logs when you read. For example, you can write good phrases, difficult words, and so on. Underline the main points while you read along. It is also good to discuss the books with your friends. If you don't know which book to read, ask me. Choose books that are slightly difficult for you. Reading books that are too easy won't help you much. Read English newspapers. Make the most of the class library. Make a habit of going to the library often. 훑어 읽기 We're going to learn to skim books today. Skimming is reading to get the main ideas. First of all, read the whole text quickly. Try to get the big picture of the story. Read the passage silently. When you read it for the first time, try to notice what the text is about. Think about the theme while you read. Don't think about the details at this stage. We'll talk about the details later on. What is the text about? What is the main idea? What was it mainly about? What is the writer talking about? What does the writer want to tell us? Where is the story taking place? Who are the people in the story? What are the people doing in the story? 정독하기 The thing we have to do after skimming is scanning. Scanning is a way of reading the text in detail. Scanning is to read texts in order to find the details. We scan the text to find specific information. You can't find it if you don't read it carefully. We use scanning when we take tests. Scan the text very carefully. You'll have to scan the passage to answer these questions. As you read, underline the information you need. When you read a long text, it's helpful to note down a summary of each paragraph. Now we need to know the details of the story. Let's read the text for details. Let's read the passage in more detail. You need to read the story very carefully. This time, read carefully, word by word. Find this information in the passage. Read attentively and answer the questions. Where can you find the answer to this question? Where in the text can you find the hint? Mr. Black's bad habits are written in line 15. Underline the part about Korea's winter. Circle all the words which express our feelings. 2. 읽기 활동 Have you finished reading the paragraph? Then try to find the main idea. Isn't it the same as the title? Not precisely. Titles and main ideas are not always the same. A main idea is the strongest message the writer wants to give us.
읽기 전 활동 We'll do some activities that will help us read the text. Let's first learn about the writer. What does the title remind you of? What do you know about this topic? There are some questions to think about before reading the book. Write the answers to the questions. You'll see whether your answers were right or wrong when you read the text. Underline the words you don't know. What are the new words? This word appears five times. Can you guess what it means? This story is about Thanksgiving Day. You're going to read a story about Thanksgiving Day. Shall we talk about holidays in Korea? I'll show you a video on the South Pole for a better understanding of the story. Look at the picture at the bottom of the page. Try to guess what the story is about by looking at the picture. Before reading this story, I'll let you see some photos I have taken during my trip. Before reading the text, let's talk about all the etiquette we know. 요지 파악하기 A main idea is the strongest message the writer wants to give us. The first thing you have to do is to find the main idea. Practice finding the main ideas. Can you find the main idea? What is the main idea of this text? What is the most important thing the writer wants to tell us in this text? Write. The writer wants to tell us about the dangers of Internet games. That's the main idea of this text. That's one of the details, not the main idea. You can guess what the main idea is by looking at the title. Titles and main ideas are not always the same. A sentence that best expresses the main idea is called the topic sentence. Underline the topic sentence. Let's see where the topic sentence is in the text. Which sentence best fits for the topic sentence? Why do you think this is the topic sentence? 읽기 후 활동 Tell us what you think about this story. Write down your feelings after reading the text. I'll give out some questions based on the text. Answer these questions about the passage. If you have finished reading, answer the questions below. Answer the true or false questions based on the text. Find some information about the writer. Try to guess the story that will follow. Write what will happen next. Let's have a discussion on the topic of this text. Let's make a role play with the text. Fill in the graphic organizer. Complete the graphic organizer according to the time order. List the story strips in the right time order. Write down how the main character's feelings are changing. Summarize the text. Copy down the text. Please translate the text into Korean. Put the text into Korean. Translate the dialogue into Korean. Who would like to tell us the story in Korean? 3. 읽기 Let's read the book now. First, I'll read it to you. Listen carefully. Which page are we reading? I'm on page 12. Now, let's read it all together. Who's not reading? Everyone should be reading together. 읽어주기 Let me read it first. First, I'll read it to you. Listen carefully as I read the passage. Is it too fast? I'll read it slowly. I'll read it one more time. Let me read it at a normal speed. This time, I'll read it more naturally. Now, read after me. 다 같이 읽기 Let's read it all together. Everybody all together. Everyone should be reading together. Please read the text silently. Read silently and quickly. Read the text silently when you read it for the first time. 
Don't read out loud when you're skimming. Let's read it loud this time. Read the passage aloud. Let's read the text aloud all together. I'll read it to you first. Listen carefully. Now, repeat after me. Repeat after me, line by line. All together, start reading from the second paragraph. I'm Mike, and you are Jane. You start. Groups 1 and 2, please read Part A. Now let's change the roles. Several students aren't reading. 한 사람씩 읽기 Who wants to read first? Who would like to read next? Let's have somebody read the text. Let's take turns reading the text. We shall read it by taking turns. I'll have some students read the text. Read one paragraph each. Each person reads three sentences. Please stand up and read page 14. Read the next three sentences. Start reading from line 3. Please start off from the second sentence. Continue reading from the second paragraph. Please start reading from where Tim left off. Please finish off reading the rest. Read what it says. Please read the lines of A. Keep on reading. Stop there. Thank you. That's enough. Next person. Would you like to read the next part?